I need you to get yourself back together. Mm-hmm. Listen to me. I need you to get yourself back together. I don't care what he did, she did, they did. Get yourself back together. You out here letting broken people break you. Hey, family. Look, I wanted to get myself all dolled up and stuff this morning, but I ain't about to do that. You about to accept this message with me like this. Okay, so we're going to be talking about, very briefly, about engine number 919. Oh my goodness. If you are going through anything, I have seen 911 and 919 all this weekend. Baby, let me tell you something. I know exactly what I mean. 919, 919. So let's break the number down. Nine symbolizes the end of a cycle, right? A completion. Number one means new beginnings. And I'm going to be looking at my notes because I don't want to forget nothing, y'all, okay? 19 means the beginning or the ending of a journey. <gasps> Y'all, the things that I just went through or the things that I'm going through, you have no idea. And some people are like, how the hell is you still standing, baby? Because I'm so su- I got superpowers that you don't think that I have. Okay. And if you're so if you're seeing 919, you've come to a point in your life where you feel a little lost. You know what I'm saying? You feel like things don't even make sense or why some shit just happened. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to look at my notes. Got to look at my notes. So um, 919 says that you have the ability to be anything that you want to be in this life. You are the co-creator of your life. Right? 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 Um, you have, um, y'all don't let me mess up. You are aware of yourself. I'm very aware of myself. Okay? I use logic over emotional feelings. Now you might get you might get some emotion, but I'm a very passionate person. And I think people mistake your anger and upsetness and, you know, emotional something over a person actually having passion. I speak with passion. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, at this moment, like I said, so if you see 919, right, you are a introvert. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm an introvert. <laughs> um, I am. I'm sometimes quiet. I can be shy. You know, it just depends on the place, the people, the environment, or whatever. Um, but when I get used to you, hey, baby, this mouth can't talk. It can go, okay? You can just be wrecked, all right? Um, uh, 919 is also telling you to get out of your comfort zone. I've been sitting here like, what is my comfort zone? What is my comfort zone? I don't know what my comfort zone is. Hmm. Figured it out. Um, <laughs> 919 symbolizes or it's telling you to pick a partner that is more suitable for you. So if you're quiet and you're introvert and, you know, you're really not about all the drama and stuff like that. You need someone on the, the same type of time as you. You can't really date someone that's possessive or aggressive or loud. Like, it disturbs you. You get what I'm saying? So, it's just not going to work. 919 it also tells you to prepare for constant changes. Let me tell y'all something. This morning, when I woke up, okay, I opened my eyes. I looked at the phone. I woke my daughter up first because she gets up like 5.30. And then I look back at the phone. Y'all, the time was 5.55. I did a reading on myself last night with my angel oracle cards. And I made some angel number cards myself. And I got 5.55. I also got 9.11. And I've been getting 9.19 all freaking week. I also got... That um, you're gonna be happy real soon. <laughs> Expect hasty, fast changes. Um, y'all, I can't get enough of this number because I just been seeing it all freaking week, and the things that I'm going through is just like crazy. So, like I said, I went outside and I took my daughter to the bus stop, right? And as I'm standing there, I got my bo- I got my bottle of water, right? I got my bottle of water. And I see this th- this little thing falling in, you know, from the sky in front of my face. And I just put my hand out. And it was a small gray f- 
feather. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What that mean? Hold on, y'all. I wrote it down. I know it means peace and trans tranquility, right? Ugh. Okay. So the feather. So the feather, you know, of course, it symbolizes, you know, um, the connection and ascension of a higher, the higher realm. You know, you being your higher self. The angels and the spirits are looking after you. So I got that. I was like, oh my God, thank you. And then I turned to the left, y'all. And then I seen a bluebird go right in the tree. And I was like, what at me? So do your research, do your research. So bluebird symbolizes hope love and renewal in the cards that i got last night i'm like oh my god thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you um what else do i got to say i'm just so like hype right now great also means calmer times ahead the things that i have been praying for it means freedom it means empath it means peace it means compromising it means finding solutions letting go of the material world and connecting connecting to the spiritual world oh my god and seeing the other sides of life life is changing life is about to be so magnificent for you and god let me let you know something i'm here for it so whatever i gotta let go whatever i gotta stop whatever i gotta do i'm gonna do it for god okay i'm not doing it for anybody else okay i'm about to show y'all how god how real he is so until later, because I got some more to talk to y'all about, okay? <laughs> I love you, and I'll talk to you later.